urgent weather message. For the following counties in Ohio, Cuyahoga, Erie, Huron, Lorraine and Medina, and Avon Point to Willowick. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 511, effective until 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties in Ohio, Cuyahoga, Erie, Huron, Lorraine and Medina, and Avon Point to Willowick. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 511 has been issued from 12.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time until 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties, in Ohio, Cuyahoga, Erie, Huron, Lorraine and Medina, and Avon Point to Willowick. Unusual 
feels that the water is heavy enough across the road to run the water up over my windows. Yeah, that would be uh, heavy enough. So, all right, I'll call that in. WX8CUY. Um, 
the swing set, can you, is it like made of four by fours or can you quantify the, the construction of it some way that I can relay in? Call back and find out, but yeah, you know, it's a heavy wood swing set. I mean, it's not cheap. <laughs> I could, and my wife's saying he paid five hundred dollars for it. So it's, it, you know, it's a pretty sturdy uh, swing set. W B A U P A. Very good. And I'll list that at six p.m. since you said it just occurred. I'll call that in. W X H C U Y. Um, we still have a severe 
severe thunderstorm warning, which remains in effect until 6.45 p.m. for southeastern Cuyahoga County. The main hazard with it is 80 mile per hour winds and quarter size hail. Uh, sources radar indicated impact is flying debris. Will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes may be heavily damaged. Expect considerable damage to roofs, windows, vehicles. Excessive tree damage and power outages are likely. Locations include Cleveland, Parma, Cleveland Heights, North Royalton, Solon, Warrensville Heights, South Russell, Highland Hills, Garfield Heights, Shaker Heights, Maple Heights, South Euclid, Broadview Heights, Mayfield Heights, Lynnhurst, Brecksville, University Heights, Bedford, Beechwood, and Seven Hills. A tornado watch remains in effect until 7 p.m. for northeastern uh, northeastern Ohio. Any stations with severe weather reports, please call WX8CUY. until 7 p.m. and uh, flood warning 
until 7 p.m. and a flash flood watch until 7 p.m. Are there any other stations with severe uh, traffic or damage reports that would like to call now? QXC. Go ahead, Joe, and your report was relayed in. Some more around, just down the street on Fox Hollow, 18293. 18293 Fox Hollow. Several trees were broken off, looks like about, broke off about that, uh, maybe 8 feet. Diameter, probably 8 to 10 inches. Yeah, one tree, probably 15 inches in diameter, split in the backyard. House damage, also a lot of, uh, some of the metal siding pulled off near the top of the roof. Um, can you give me the diameter of the trees again? And you said siding pulled off the house near the roof, okay? Tree looks to be, say, 18 inches. It's split in half. One half still up, one half down. A couple of trees, pine tree, broke off about 8 feet off the ground. It looks like about 8 to 10 inches in diameter. And several large branches, about six inches in diameter, broken off the tree. Okay, I have an 18 inch tree split, and trees that are eight to 10 inches in diameter are broken about eight feet up. Uh, sorry, just jotting that down. Okay, anything else there, Joe? Nah, nothing else. This is just around the corner from the first damage I've reported, so uh, I'm going to go around the neighborhood in this area and see if there's anything else in AQXC. This is all in strong so. Before you leave, that was 18293 Fox Hollow. Do that. Very good. I will call that in, and we'll be standing down the net here shortly uh, since the uh, weather that prompted the net has moved out of the area, but uh, I'll still listen for damage reports. WX8CUY. Control NHQXC. Go ahead, Joe. WX8CUY. Intersection of Partridge, like the bird at Fox Hollow. We have a stop sign. Broke over onto the ground, and across the way we have a, one of those uh, traffic, not traffic lights, uh, small light poles. It's probably about 15 feet high, aesthetically pleasing light. Uh, broke right over and spawned on the ground, right at the base. broken off and a light pole broken at the base. Is that correct? So that's a fiberglass light pole. I think it's probably about 12 to 15 feet high. It's laying flat on the ground. Okay, we got that report. I will call that one in. Thank you. WX8CUY. Um, we call now. If not, we're going to go ahead and stand down the net. Um, the report, or the uh, severe weather that prompted the net has moved out of the area. Any other reports of storm damage, please call WX8CUY. Okay, at this point, we'll be standing down the net. Thank you, everyone, for, for your participation. And at that point, Say stay safe. This is WX8CUY. W-8-I-E. 
have on the net. I'll just let you know this. I mean, there's no calls to be made or anything. I got this off public service, but uh, uh, in front of St. Ambrose, which is on Pearl Road, there's a pole leaning down with a transformer on it, and it's on fire. <laughs> I mean, it ain't funny, but West 130th, there's live wires across West 130th, and traffic's driving over them. They got a, Higley's got a unit heading over there now, and uh, I don't know, there was trees down on Mark's Road, and uh, uh, what was the other, a pole down with a transformer in the middle of the road on, uh, I think it was 205 Mark's Road, but anyhow, they're, they're overwhelmed out here with the, uh, you know, problems. My daughter ended up having uh, eight sections of that fence down, and uh, I still, I, I called back there, she don't know how thick or heavy that wood was, but on a swing set, but anyway, it's, uh, that's just kind of what's going on out here. They're, the fire and police are overwhelmed, so anyway, I won't keep you. 73, figured I'd just give you a quick update. 73, WBA, UPA. Wow, yeah, it sounds like quite a bit of activity, so hopefully they'll uh, have it all under control and power back up and so forth. Where did you get those reports off of uh, the scanner or something? The fire frequency. I, I listened to them on my one of the handhelds, and uh, same with the police. So I listened to the fire out here quite a bit. Okay, very good. Alrighty. Well, I won't keep you. I've got to get my net report in and type it all up nice and pretty. So. <laughs> But uh, stay safe out there, and uh, we'll catch up to you later on. 7-3, W-8-I-E. I don't, when you called for check-ins, I think it was about 6 o'clock, one fella checked in. I was listening on the handheld, but I was on the other side of the house. By the time I got over here, uh, by the radios, the real radios, you were, uh, you know, looking for reports again. But, I, you know, I checked in later on here, so... Just to let you know, 73 again, good job, WBA, UPA. It sounds good, 73, catch you later, W8IE. W8IE, K8MD, do you want to pass another uh, storm damage report up? Uniform, Victor, uh, Lakewood, 
Ohio. Uh, never really done the Skynet thing before. Uh, Skywatch thing before, but uh, we're all in the clear over here. Looks like the weather's passed. Um, I, I still have power. Looks like the rest of the neighborhood has power. Um, kind of around Madison Avenue and 140th Street. Don't know if I'm doing this right, but hopefully I can lend a hand here. KEWB out. Okay, very good. Uh, KE8SUV, I believe it was. Um, very good. We're also in Lakewood. And uh, we have closed the net already, but we typically look for reports of severe weather. And um, then we, if they meet the criteria, we pass them to the National Weather Service. But uh, thanks for your input, and uh, we've got you noted here. 73, this is W8IE. W8IE, KE8FUV. Yeah, you got the call sign, right? Um, how would I find out more about this if I wanted to get involved more, uh, more often? KE8FV with traffic. Okay, I'll give you our website in a second. Go ahead, Bob, in case you have something. Yeah, I've got another damage report at 19609 Misty Lake Drive in Strongsville. Uh, multiple branches down, uh, four inch to five inch diameter.
Andy. Okay, very good. I'll let Dave know in a few moments. He's busy at the moment, but uh, we'll get that called in. W-8-I-E. Correct. 